What's up, everybody? My name is Lehu, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host, podcast, Cross Worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehu Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Dungeon Black Company episode three. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon. Link to those are below. After reacting to Dungeon Black Company episode three, we are reviewing it. And our reviews are usually like recaps, play by plays, kind of play by play and our impressions of the episode. And I actually liked it. There was more world building. I feel like the first five episodes are like world building, but especially the first three episodes. And this one, our protagonist, anti-hero. Yeah, anti-hero. Minomiya goes to another division and like he gets promoted, right? But it's, it seems worse because they're making him go through a training camp and through the training camp, there's all sorts of ways to brainwash to make you into a corporate grunt. And Nino Mia totally knew it was happening. Like there was like some type of brainwashing going on. So what he did was he and his friend, I think his name is Wanibe, they ate confusion grass, which canceled out with the brainwashing. If their mind was already confused, the effects of brainwashing wasn't going to be as good, I guess. And it worked. It really worked. But it was just so crazy to the extent of how much brainwashing they were going to do. So at the facility where they were training, they had like sounds coming out of the speakers for brainwashing throughout the day. And there was different types of braces, right? It worked on the beastmen, but the elves were more resistant because they're resistant to magic and brainwashing was magic. But then later on in the training, when they did other exercises, they had literal black mages doing the brainwashing magic, which was stronger and it worked on the elves. I was like, oh my gosh, this is sort of like a reflection of bad corporations. Corporations that work their employees way too hard. I feel like Dungeon Black Company is a satire of how corporate worlds can be like. Fortunately, Nino Mia and his friend, they were not affected by it. They're working too smart for them. Yeah. After training, they go back to the headquarters and they meet their superior. Her name is Shia. Apparently, she's the second coming hero. So this world has heroes and they work for the companies. They work for the companies to explore, explore the dungeons, the floors, so the miners can collect more demon knight. But I think it's weird that a hero is working for them. I mean, this, it must be really bad. Super bad to the point where healers work for corporations. And it's interesting how they are praising her achievements for this company. She's the second coming here and, and they keep talking about the Philosopher's Stone. And this dungeon that she got her from. And I'm wondering, okay, you guys keep mentioning this. Is the Philosopher's Stone going to come up again? Is this dungeon going to come up again? And let me tell you this, Hiroshia. She's crazy. She looks like she is brainwashed to the max. She got that sparkle in her eye. I don't know if that's to make fun of heroes <laughs> that have sparkles in their eyes. Or if it means that she's super brainwashed. I'm not too sure. But she really is strong and she is really proud of being part of this company like when she was showing nino mia the store the store market saying oh yeah we can buy great equipment from here and we can get good equipment not like the bad equipment that they saw at the other stores in the lower divisions these are going to be really good they're going to help us with the exploration and we're going to have 100 percent results we're going to have really good pay and nino mia is like yeah, this isn't that great because all this stuff is made out of the demon knight that we mine. And since our group is result based, if we don't perform, we don't get paid. So they're making us buy the equipment so we can perform good and get our pay. So it's like, whoa, that's just crazy. They're not even giving it. They have to buy it. So this company is like totally milking their employees. It's just oh i'm getting like
like flashbacks of working at certain jobs. Anyways, so they go out exploring and Shia finds out that they work with monsters, which is a big no-no with the company. So what Nino Mia does is he gets Rim to apprehend her. And apparently Rim can change forms. So you know how she looks like Loli? She can have an adult form. Like she can control the way she looks, her body and such. I'm wondering if her Loli form is sort of like her childlike form where it's like, okay, I'm resting. Not not using a lot of energy. This is my weakest form. I'm, you know, relaxing, eating and such. That's what I'm wondering what it is. Besides that, Rim grows up. She totally beats Shia and Shia is strong. They tie her up and they take a group picture with her. Naomi is like, okay, you're one of us. If you ever say anything about me working with monsters, I can just show them this picture and say the hero works with monsters too. You wouldn't want that, huh? And she's like, what? And that was the end of the episode with a little bit of like a sneak peek of some creature's eye and such. We don't know if this is a creature that they're going to fight later on or a creature that's going to join them. We'll find out next week. And that's my review of the episode. It was good. It was actually not as short as how my review is it felt longer but the points that i said were the important stuff and that whole training thing i want to say half of the episode was the training part and i pretty much just glossed over it if you guys saw the episode and i missed anything that you wanted me to talk about let me know in the comments below if you haven't what's your impression of the episode what do you think about this video let me know in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of youtube there's a discord link is in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash i host superfina link is in the description outside of youtube and twitch i host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things we're interested in if you like podcasts like that link to the podcast is in the description we're available on all platforms other than that my name is lihua and this is the superfina channel reviewing dungeon black company episode three Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Laters. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.